1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, it's eight o'clock and for today I will give you three minutes in order that everyone join to the classes. Meanwhile, I would like to share something. This one. Look at this. Who has been doing all those stuff together. I know with all those knowledge that uh, that you are very good, you will be able to speak and improve your English as soon as possible. Just give me a second, guys. Okay, guys, we will start with the class because it's just one minute. Uh, it's missing to three o'clock. And I cannot see that anybody joined to the class. And we will start to verify this. We will have a review for, for all those that we already know it. Who remember how to introduce yourself? Do you remember these conversations? Guys? Yes. Yes, I remember. Okay. If you remember which, uh, sorry, that conversation help or how to introduce ourselves and someone else. For, a, for example, uh, this one, this part. Just Audio me. as many times. This part, the first one, David. Hello, I am David. Garanza, I am a new club member. Also, when uh, Beth asks for someone, David adds extra information. Today, we will practice a little bit about this. You will be making a role play, as I mentioned. And, <coughs> and, and right now, I will choose who. Just give me a second. Okay, Lorena, you will be David and Roxana will be Beth. I will share it right now. 
and I will play the conversation, just the conversations. Hi everyone, welcome to this class. We we'll learn how to introduce ourselves and others. For you to learn how to do so, you need to listen to the following audio program. Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to, and don't forget to practice it as well. Let's pay attention. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay. Where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Sun He is here. Who's Sun He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. Thank you. Math class. Right now, just give me a second. Okay. Roxana will help us, and Lorena will help us with this conversation. Lorena will be David, Roxana will be Beth, and let me know when you will be ready. Um, are you ready, girls? Yes. Okay, start, please. Where's she from? Korea. Oh, sorry. I guess. Uh, I guess Lauren is not in the class. Oh. Yes. Rooks. Okay. Can you read the part of the video, please? No. <laughs> okay, it's okay. In this kind of cases, someone else, can you help me to do it? I. Okay. Inténtelo. Just Hello. try. I bet. Yes, you are bet. Uh, I am bet. Uh, okay. Hello, I am David Garza. I, I am a new club member. My name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Bet. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about, how about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil? Oh, good. So he is here. Who? Soon he? Soon he? She's my. She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Is Korea? Korea. Let's okay. go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G R, no, G A R C A. Thank you, girls. You did a great job. Glad for her. I love it. I love the part that do you, uh, who will be David? Sorry, because I cannot see the name right now. Give me a second. Yes, right now, yes. Lorena, you, ¿quién fue usted en la lectura? David. Okay. Me gustó en la parte donde usted le dijo y le preguntó a Beth, where are you from? Se escuchó bastante natural. Eh, sé que tenemos, eh, como todos, algunas veces miedo a poder hablar en inglés, pero no debemos de tenerlo. La verdad que ustedes tienen muy, pero muy buen inglés. Ahora bien, repeat after me. How about you? How about you? 
How about you? How about how about how about how you. about you? How about you? How about you? How about you? How about you? Thank you. Okay, right now the next one was who's Sung He. Who's Sung He? 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 Recuerden. Cuando vamos a hacer una pregunta en español, nosotros le damos una entonación. Lo que unas personas le dicen un cantadito. Pero en inglés, cuando vamos a hacer una pregunta, algunas veces la entonación tiene mucho que ver. Es lo mismo. Hagámoslo natural. Who? Who's on he? Who's on he? That's right. Who's on he? And right now, we will continue with the next one. Maria, let's go. Just give me a second, and the next one will be about this. And right now, I will open my favorite tool. <laughs> With this, uh, it will be fr uh, free. Uh, just give me a second, and I will add your names right now. Just a second. It would be Andrea, Aide, Erica, Lorena, Maricela, Roxanne, Sandra, Stephanie. Well, girls, yes, I mean. muy bien, señoritas. En este caso, como ya pasaron Roxana y también pasó la señorita Lorena, ellas no van a participar en este. Perfecto. Si llegan a salir ellas, solo le daremos un clic más. No se preocupen, lo que vamos a ver ahora va a ser este. Espérenme. No, este era sobre los adjetivos posesivos. Era este. Otro era una de las cosas. Eso se acabó. Se me perdió. Aquí está. Y aquí vamos. Si tienen, necesitan ayuda para decirlo, no se preocupen, les vamos a ayudar entre todos. Sandra. Hola, hola. Usted va a ser la afortunada de participar junto con... Ok. Pero como Lorena ya pasó. Stephanie. Good evening. Hello, Stephanie. Can you help Hello. us with this role play? ¿Nos puedes ayudar con ese role play? Bye. Yes.
Sandrita va a ser Sun He. Y tú, Stephanie, vas a ser David. Pondré el okay. vídeo para que los escuchen las pronunciaciones okay. de algunas palabras y luego lo hacemos nuevamente. Okay. Now, are you free? Sure. Let's go. No questions. This is interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the... This is interesting this semester. Going. Fine, thanks. Second, How guys. are you? Pretty good. Going. How's it going? Hey, David. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. Okay. Chemistry. And let me know when you will be ready, girls. ¿Están listas? Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Perfect. Comience. Hi, David. How is it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your class in interesting this sem semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you on bed in the sun class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I am on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Thank you, girls. You are doing very well. La verdad que sí me encanta su disposición. Me ha encantado también que han podido leer de una forma fluida. It's time to repeat. And the first one would be, so, are your classes interesting this semester? So, are your classes, class? Classes, classes. Remember, this is plural, El, classes. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Ahora vamos a repetir semester. Semester. Y ahora interesting. Interesting. Ah, thank you. Ahora both. Me encantó que lo dijeron bien. Chemistry. Esta frase es muy, esta palabra es muy difícil y pocas personas la saben cómo se pronuncia. Y me encantó escuchar que ustedes ya sabían cómo. Ahora que es lo que sí quiero que, que repitamos, es cómo vamos a entonar la pregunta. This one. Chemistry? Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? Are you and Beth in the same class? Thank you. Uh, and David, right now, repeat with me. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. My nice. class is in the morning. Okay, nice. Ahora, my class. My class. Is in the. Is in the. Morning. Morning. My class is in the? My class is in the? Morning. Morning. My class is in the morning. My class is in the morning. That's right. Cuando ustedes quieran practicar, uno de los tips que tengo o que más me ayudó a mí para esto fue leer. Leer en voz alta. 
A veces nos vamos a equivocar con las pronunciaciones, no se preocupen, para eso podemos ocupar herramientas como los diccionarios en línea. Si ustedes con su celular pueden activar el micrófono y pues pronunciar la palabra o buscar la, la palabra y escuchar, perdón, cómo se pronuncia, eso es excelente. Pero cuando ustedes vienen y quieren decir algo o una oración larga, divídanla al inicio. Divídanla en las estructuras normales, como en este caso, en una pregunta. Auxiliar, subject, verb, and complement. Y de ahí intenten irlo diciendo un poco más unido, como el, aux el auxiliar con el subject de una sola vez. Y luego decir el verbo con el complemento de una sola vez. Y si lo practicamos así, va a llegar el momento que vamos a decir la oración completa de corrido. Y nos vamos a acostumbrar a después a nosotros hablarlo así. Ahora bien. Uh, this one. Ok, Sandrita, I need your help with this. I am on my way. I am on my way. To the cafeteria. To the cafeteria. Now. Now. Are you free? Are you free? Thank you. Ok, again. I am on my way to the cafeteria. I am on my way. Uh -huh. I am on my way. 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 Así como. I am sí. on my way to uh -huh. the cafeteria now. Are you free? That's right. Remember la palabra way, que significa camino, es, se escucha como la muletía que se ocupa en México. Way. Hey, way. De la misma forma. I am on my way. Es la misma pronunciación. I am on my way. Sure. Let's go. Okay, right now. Sure. Three, are you? Vamos. Les quiero enseñar otra cosa. Les voy a enseñar qué es lo que aprendimos en esta lección. En esta lección aprendimos sobre los posesivos adjetivos. ¿Ustedes se recuerdan de esos posesivos adjetivos? ¿Cuáles eran? Y para eso, para quien me va a responder eso, ocuparé la ruleta. Yo, oh, Ajá, muy bien. Si alguien quiere ser voluntario, sí, me parece perfecto. ¿Quién? Yo, Sandra. Vaya, Sandrita. Dígame, ¿cuáles son los adjetivos posesivos? Yo... Uh -huh. Oh, eh, me, my, my, perdón, my, your, your, oh, 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 uh -huh. oh, oh, my, oh, ya lo dijimos, uh -huh. my them, house. them, his, her, its, his, her, its, uh -huh. perfect. We, that information we can explain and or provide more information about some stuff. For example, when someone asks you, hey, uh, I like your t-shirt. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, it's my birthday gift. Estamos ocupando un adjetivo calificativo. Oh, hey, your shoes are amazing. Oh, congratulations for his new employee employment or so for his new job. En este caso, ahora bien, ¿qué más aprendimos? Y esto sí lo vamos a poner aquí. Aprendimos sobre las WH questions. ¿Alguien se recuerda cuáles eran? Que no sea Sandrita. Sandrita ya, ya se sacrificó en la pregunta anterior. Necesitamos a alguien más. Ay. Vaya, Roxana. ¿Se acuerda cuáles eran las W question? Uh, what, where, uh -huh. who, uh -huh. why, uh -huh. how. <risa> uh -huh. Y hay una, hay una bien importante, una que la ocupamos todos los días. 
Ah. Es que se, se trata de tiempo. Ay, es cuando. Uh -huh. I don't remember. When. 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 Perfect. With the WH questions, we can get extra information. For example, uh, if I ask it to you, um, how was your last weekend? You can say, ah, my last weekend was amazing. I went to uh, my friend's house, or I made a barbecue, something like that. Also, you can ask, ask every time, hey, what time is it? ¿Qué hora son? Oh, when will be your daughter's birthday? Podemos ocupar la WH question para especificar para específicas preguntas por las cuales nosotros queremos más información. Es fácil la estructura. ¿Alguien recuerda cuál es la estructura de la WH questions? Ok, es hora de la pizarra. Andre. La estructura, el WH. Ajá. Close, el, el verb to be. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Te voy a poner la pizarra y te voy a ayudar ahí a escribirlo, escribiéndolo. Espérame. Vaya, has dicho que es. Espérame. W, WH questions plus verb to be. Ajá. El auxiliary verb. Auxiliary. And then uh, the verb. Mm -hmm. Pero eso, era un, eso solo es una, una excepción. Cuando ocupamos el who, porque no sabemos quién está haciendo la acción. Pero con las demás. ¿Alguien quiere ayudar a, a, a Andre? The verb to be. No, antes de eso va el subject. El subject. Recuerden, no podemos preguntar algo al azar si le estamos preguntando a alguien. For example, and then after the bird, a complement. And the most important part, period. Vamos a hacer un example. Alguien o oh, Andrew. Pregúntame algo con esta estructura y verificaremos de que el sujeto es muy importante. What are you doing? Si se fijaron, what WH questions? Auxiliary there are. What was the subject? You. You. And then the bird doing. Also, you can add something else after doing. What are you doing right now? And we have a compliment. Congrats. I appreciate so much all your help, girls. You are doing so amazing. I am proud of you. And right now it's time to continue. And also what else we learn about this. Okay, in this lesson, just this. What about in the next one? In the next lesson, also we got some information about vocabulary of work and jobs. Do you remember? And is this? Cuando escuchamos la conversación de las personas que trabajan. Ay, ¿Cómo describía que era su trabajo? 
Siempre con el WH questions. Pero luego de eso, aprendimos esto. Simple present. And that's the simple present. When we speak about present. And not just in this time, it's for a periods of time. For example, I am a student and I have a part-time job. It's something that I am doing, not right now, but I'm doing every day. And it's time to do the role play. And don't forget, today is time to, uh, today is night of the role play. And the next one will be. Erika, can you help me? Yes. Thank you. And you class and your colleague will be Maurice, Maricela. Maricela, puedes ayudarnos? Sí. Thank you. And I will play this video, listen carefully the pronunciation of those words, and then you will practice. Hi everyone, welcome to section two. In this lesson, participate in question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work? Question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. I love it. Todavía no les he dado el rol que van a hacer, ¿verdad? No les he dicho no, que no. Muy bien. No. Mm, ahora le voy a dar a elegir quién quiere ser ustedes. Mm, puedo ser Jason. Perfect. You will be Jason and the, and the other person will be Andrea. Go ahead when you will be ready. And I will get this and this. Okay. Okay. Where do you, do, where do you work, Andrea? I work in a Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries of, in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student. A student. And I have a part-time job. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Thank you, girls. I love that you participate today and it's time to practice. But before practice, I would like to tell you something. You did a great job. You try to do it as best you do, and also you can read with the fluence too. You have a fluence. And also, I like that you try to make intonations, but someone, sometimes we need to try to be relaxed. Try to don't be afraid at the moment to speak, but don't worry, you are doing well. Repeat after me. Where do you work, Andrea? Where do you, Where work, do you work, Andrea? That's right. And this, this one. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. 
I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Ajá. Recuerde, a veces nosotros no lo hacemos intencional, sino que es como en modo automático. Podemos cometer el error de agregar una segunda eh, preposición, lo cual sí es un error. Por eso procuremos el work at Thomas. Y como aprenderemos luego, estas proposiciones nos demuestran lugares específicos, lugares de un tamaño específico y otros de otro mucho más grande. Ahora siguiendo. Tours. 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 Countries. 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 And how. 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 How interesting. Interesting. Perfect. Cada vez que vean un, un how, solo acuérdense de los indios que aparecían en, en las caricaturas antes que how. Es la mejor pronunciación para hacerlo. How interesting. El interesting es como no abro mucho la boca al momento de decirlo. Interesting. Interesting. Ajá. And the next one. And I know that it could be for nervous, but I am a student. I am a student. Cool. And the last one, hamburger heaven. Hamburger heaven. Aquí la A es muda. Heaven. 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 Mm -hmm. Muy bien. We will continue, girls. You are doing a great job. It's time to start again with the roulette. And after that, we watch uh, the simple present and the OWH question using simple present. For example, where do you work? Where do you go to school? Where does Andrea work? Or she works at Thomas Cook Travel. She works at AFP, something like that. To express action also. And then we have a quiz. We resolved that quiz together and it was amazing. Then we will learn about them expressions. And it's time to role play. Sandrita, your turn. And your partner will be. Stephanie, can you help us? Yes. Okay. Uh, Sandrita, será Daniel? Yes. Y Stephanie va a ser Helen. I will play the video, okay. listen carefully how they pronounce those words, and after that, we will try to do it. Hi. Perdón, no sé qué le pasó el, a esto. Permítanme. Voy a refrescar esto. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. 
Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Do exactly. Okay, girls, are you ready? Teacher, ¿será que lo podemos oír una segunda vez? Claro, claro. Por favor. Aquí estamos para esto. Esta clase es más que todo un review para que también recordemos los temas que hemos visto y la pronunciación. Pueden predecir que se repitan los videos cuantas veces quieran. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Love your show. Muy bien. Hoy sí están listas, chicas. Ok, lo intentaremos. Ok, start when you will be ready. So, do you usually come the, to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get up. No, I usually get home um, at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report on the key and TV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. So, by the way, I am Daniel. Me encantó, la verdad que. Me encantó mucho. Esta vez lo hicieron mucho, pero mucho más rápido de lo normal. Y me encantó que lo hicieron más fluidez. No voy a negar si sí hay momentos en que uno, pues, como le digo, estamos aprendiendo. Nos paramos para tomar aire. Pero eso vamos a aprender técnicas luego. Ahora, it's time to repeat. And the first one will be... Do you usually come to the gym? So, do you usually come to the gym? In the morning? In the morning? Do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Do you usually come to the gym in the morning? That's right. And the next one was... Um, when do you get home at night? When do you get home at night? When when do you get home at night? When do you get home at night? Thank you. And the next one will be antes antes de proceed. What do you mean? Oh, what does it mean? Announcer. ¿Qué significa announcer? O TV announcer. Anuncio. No. Announce es anuncio. Pero cuando es un TV announcer es alguien como los que presentan El clima. O incluso Alex Pineda. Moisés Urbina. 
they are TV announcer. Presentadores de televisión. Mm -hmm. And then recognize. Repeat after me. Recognize. Recognize. Uh -huh. Recognize as reconocerme. Right now, it's time to continue, girls. It's almost we will start with the last sections. Okay, and there we learned uh, some vocabulary about the time. For example, morning, at night, midnight, late, in the afternoon, what time, usually, and what else? Mm, morning. Okay, then we'll continue and we'll, we'll discuss again about at it and on in order to express a specific part of the time. It's time to the roulette. Okay, chicas. Marisela, ¿puedes ayudarnos? Sí. Perfect. Ahora bien, ¿te acuerdas de add in and on? Yes. Ahora bien, ¿en qué tiempo ocupamos at? Eh, tiempo, de tiempo. Uh -huh. Cuando ocupamos at en tiempo. Como una expresión de tiempo. Uh, eh, por ejemplo, eh, night at the morning. A specific time. That's the answer. When you express a specific time, it happens something. For example, as you mentioned, uh, we have classes at nine, Monday to Thursday. Also, you can say, tell that sentence to be more specific and also you will uh, use at. I have classes at 8 o'clock p.m. Sun, uh, sorry, Monday to, Friday, uh, to Thursday. That's an example. And right now, when we use in, Eh, como para mencionar lugares. Eh, sí, pero lo que son at, in, and on también nos podemos ocupar para mencionar eh, tiempos, no ah, solo sí. lugares. Y sí, aquí sería, es... ajá, por ejemplo, eh, uh -huh. in the morning. Uh -huh. Y también nos referimos a periodos más largos. No es algo que solo esté pasando en ese específico momento. At night y at the morning. At the morning creo que no lo puedo ocupar, pero at night sí. O son excepciones. Pero cuando ocupas is, in, es para meses y años. Cuando ocupas on, te referís también a específicos días, pero, o sea, periodos de tiempo un poco largos como on Friday, on the weekends, que solo son lo máximo tres días. Y también para días festivos, la, like Christmas, eh, Thanksgiving Day, eh, Black Friday, eh, 4th of July, eh, Independence Day in our case, eh, Holy Week, and August Vacation. ¿Cómo se ¿Cuál es el nombre de las vacaciones de agosto? Agostinas, pero no sé cómo se dice. No tienen otro nombre. Fiestas patronales. Mm, a patronal, patronal vacation o patronal week. O patronal. No. Patronal parties. Eso es algo que te, me queda a mí de tarea. Se lo voy a decir el día lunes. Muy bien. Recuerden, me acuerdo haberles enviado una imagen de esto y enseñarles un triangulito. Se lo buscaré y se las enviaré mañana por la mañana. 
Eh, eso solo es como algo adicional para que ustedes en su tiempo libre y puedan repasar y quieran repasar temas anteriores, puedan hacerlo y les va a ayudar en el futuro. Luego de eso hicimos un examen. After that, we will develop our listening skills because we listen some audios and answer another quiz and then we, we will start with the section three guys. In this section, we learn about demonstrative when we shop. Someone remember this, this, that, and those. Just give me a second. A verse. Hi, we're now in section three. Please pay attention and try to listen to this conversation you are listening. In this lesson, yeah, they're perfect for you. While shopping. Ya se recordaron. Y ahora it's time to practice. Mm -hmm. Roxana, can you help us? Yes. And the next one will be. Pero Maricela ya participó. Al igual que Sandrita. Andrea, can you help us? Yes. Okay. Andrea will be Maria and Roxy will be Steve. Okay. I will play the video, listen carefully, and after that, you will practice. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Okay. Go ahead, girls. When you will be ready, start. Yes, ready. Go ahead. Oh, oh, look at the, those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. <clears throat> oh, this. Mm, yellow isn't a really a good color for me. Well, that necklace, earring band. Which one? That blue one's right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's that expensive? Hey, let me share it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank you, girls. You are doing so great. Okay, it's time to practice and repeat. In this section, do you remember what that we use? those, this, that, and this. For example, when we use this, it's for what? Cuando ocupamos este this? Cuando está cerca y se habla de un plural. No, cerca, uh -huh. singular. La verdad estaba bien el, el inicio, cerca, plural. plural. <laughs> Suele, <laughs> sí, suele pasar. <laughs> yeah, it's when it's close to you and it's plural. And what about those? ¿Alguien más me puede dar ayudar? ¿Cuándo ocupamos those? Those is uh, plural and lejos. 
far. Far, lejos. Far. Lejos. Ahora bien. Excelente. And it's the same with the other one. That it for far, singular far, and this with el que tiene solo la I. T H I S, it's for singular. Right now, just I need to explain you something. Exist, existen algunas palabras que se, na, tenemos que pronunciarlas casi juntas. Como help you. Help you. And, and look at. Look, look at. at. Look at. Look at. Repito esto me. Look at. Look at. Look at. Look at. Es como decir Lucas, pero en vez de decir con S, es con T. Look at. Pero con el sonido de la K. Look at. And what else? I like that Maria, who has Maria sets $42. I love that part. Okay. After that, we discuss about this one, the most words pronounced. We watch a video, how they work. After that an exam, you shine as every time. And then we may a listening part. And we're, no, sorry, I stress, something a stress. And we watch a video about stress. And also I chose you this one. Les mostré este del estrés. ¿Se recuerdan? When they are three syllable at the beginning, four syllable, and the second one, fifth syllable, and the third one. Also, we practice with this. Y la importancia es porque hay verbos que no significan lo mismo que un no. Son completamente diferentes. Also, we, we practice a lot about this. And we watch another video. Expressing preference. Pero este ya no lo vamos a hacer porque ya llegamos casi a la hora, señoras. Les comento, ha sido un placer para mí estar con ustedes esta semana. Me han llenado mucho de orgullo y quiero saber sus opiniones sobre el examen que hicieron este. El Midor Exam. ¿Cómo lo sintieron? It was easy, difficult. El de hoy, teacher. Mm -hmm. Sí, Excellent. el de hoy. Y el examen, usted lo hizo ahora el examen, el de Minute Interment. Mm. Eh, eh, pensé que se refería a la práctica ahorita de los diálogos. Ah, ah, pero eso me alegra también que les haya parecido excelente. Pero les quería preguntar que cómo les había parecido el examen que hicieron ayer. Eh, que les quedó pendiente una parte. Si lo sintieron fácil, si lo sintieron difícil, ese examen. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué se los pregunto? Porque estoy muy orgulloso que veo que su desarrollo en la clase ha sido bastante considerable. Sigan así. Por eso me tomé la delicadeza de tomarme este día, que practicamos un poco más nuestro eh, speaking, because I know that you manage so great the aims. For example, you gave me some answers, such as the time propositions, WH word uh, structures, WH, uh, what else? Mm. The structure about no, you provide me 
uh, the pronouns about property, something like that, that it's my, he, his, her, it's, you provide me all those answers. That's made me think that you are improve a lot your knowledge and your vocabulary. Okay, chicas son libres de irse. Good night and see you on Monday. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night.